Well, sentiment, Brian, tied to China really hinges on what investor, who investor you talk to. Uh, and what they are focused on overall is uh, the reopening and whether it's really picking up pace. After cutting its quarantine requirement from seven to five days, online travel firm Trip.com says it's seen a 136 percent jump in flight searches to China from the U.S., signs of a gradual reopening, but not a total abandonment of its zero COVID policy. And that's why Wall Street remains less bullish right now. J.P. Morgan's Joyce Chang calling yesterday's Biden-Xi meeting constructive, pointing to Biden's comments that he did not see an imminent threat to Taiwan from China as a positive, yet still lowering GDP estimates. Mark Lazary of Avenue Capital telling me it's too early to invest in China. And then there's the latest 13F filings ending September 30th, which reveals a number of prominent hedge funds reducing their exposure to the country. KOTU and Appaloosa Management cutting their stakes in Alibaba. KOTU by 88 percent. The fund also reducing its stake in JD.com by 56 percent, while Ray Dalio's Bridgewater cut its stake in Baidu by 20 percent. There were some buyers. Steve Cohen's 0. .72 boosting its stake in Alibaba by 490 percent. Take a look at shares of Alibaba on pace for its best month in seven years. The stock is now trading at a premium to its historical average, 36 times earnings versus its historical average of 32. But clearly, uh, sentiment seems to be changing when you look at the stocks, but again, the bigger investors still cautious. Okay.